Coach, how is having a guy like Ellis Richardson doing so well with the Chicago Bears help the perception of the tight end in this offense? Well, it's, it's helping a lot. Uh, I actually had a chance to watch him play a little bit last night, so I'm get a lot of quality reps in, uh, in the fourth quarter of that game. Uh, you know, our guys look up to him. They wanted to watch the game too. They wanted to see him. They were, they were excited to have a guy from their room that's playing at the next level, and I think it helps elevate everybody's game, knowing that they all have, there's an opportunity to come to Georgia Southern as a tight end here and make it to the next level and be a producer at the next level. And I think Ellis is gonna, is gonna lead the way for us in that regard. You don't have a whole lot of experience in your room, but Cam Brown did have a touchdown catch last year. What does he bring to this offense? Uh, Cam, you know, the great thing about Cam Brown, and this is a positive thing anywhere on offense, is Cam's a smart guy. Uh, and he has, he knows the offense. Uh, he understands when things change, how to make the, you know, how to adapt and how to make the calls, uh, which, which pays dividends for our offense, just putting us in the right place. So his experience means a lot. It means a lot. I got a lot of young guys in my room uh, with not a whole lot of experience. So it's, it's nice having him in there that he can kind of calm those guys down and, and talk them through it. If, if something's not resonating the way I'm explaining it, you know, he, he does a good job of, of trying to give a second way to explain something. I've noticed uh, Emery McKenzie getting some quality reps after moving over from defense. What are your early thoughts on him and how he can help on the offense? Emery, you know, it's, he's been a pleasant surprise. You know, we didn't get to see him in the spring. Uh, we, we made that change to help us add some depth. And, and he is a, you know, he doesn't have a whole lot of experience at the tight end position, but he is an upperclassman. Um, so he's got confidence and he's got experience and he's got physicality. So, you know, I like a lot of the things I'm seeing from him right now, he just he's learning the position and uh, expecting big things from him. I'm expecting him to contribute, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how he grows in the offense. Can you tell us about the two freshmen, Bo and Chase, and how they're doing? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we've got two freshmen this year that came in, uh, Chase Hancock and, and Bo Johnson, and we're very excited about both of them. Uh, they're both getting a lot of reps right now. Uh, they're freshmen, so they're going to have they have some freshmen, uh, some high school tendencies that they're working out of their system, uh, and just getting them used to the speed of the game. And you know they're doing a really good job. They're both putting in the extra work and trying to study and be right, uh, and understand that they have a, every opportunity to play. Uh, so really excited to watch them grow. But they're doing well. They're just they're going through their growing pains. What characteristics are you looking for in the two different types of tight ends in this offense? Uh, we, we have different styles of tight ends but you'll see all, every one of my guys will play both positions they'll be on the ball they'll be off the ball they'll be you know running routes they'll be in the in the power game they, they're going to do everything and we have to establish an identity this year in my opinion it's what I'm talking to my guys about we have to be tough guys uh, we have to be physical and, and we've got to get to the point where when people watch us on film they're looking for us on game day because they know we're about to come in there as physical as we can ever be. Uh, and so, I, I, you know, we have guys that have different talents and skill sets than others, but they all have to be able to do the same things and they have to be able to maximize their, their skill level on everything that we do. We don't want to ever create tendencies that way. So, you know, I ask our guys to do everything. All right, coach. Thanks. Thank you.